This is your evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts us off with the weather. Well, we do have a storm heading in our direction. It's going to stay nice for the beginning portion of Friday. Then increasing clouds from west to east and the chance of showers, especially around the four corners, coming up late tomorrow evening, along with those increasing winds. Most of the snow will be over the San Juans and into the northern mountains into Saturday. We'll see our temperatures drop across the area as well late on Saturday. And then by Sunday, northwest winds, cooler temperatures across the area, and plenty of Sunshine. Police say the driver who caused a wreck that shut down I 25 yesterday was drunk and had two kids in her truck. APD says Julia Gallegos was going 90 miles an hour when she swerved across three lanes and rolled her truck near the lead coal exit just before rush hour. She refused a field sobriety test, but police say she reeked of alcohol. Her two kids were checked by EMS and are okay. Gallegos has been charged with child abuse and DWI charges may be next. Albuquerque police are casting a new net for men looking for underage girls to have sex with, and the net has made its first catch. APD officers arrested 35 year old Jason Willer last night. He responded to a phony online ad claiming underage teen dancers were in the city and willing to give him a private show. Police say that Willer, who was traveling through Albuquerque from Nevada, offered to pay $100 for sex with a 17 year old when he showed up officers arrested him for human trafficking join us for more news tonight on KRQE news 13 at 10.